Hey, this is Jay Lee. Hope all is well. I just wanted to thank everyone for coming to our UFO sighting event at uh, Mason Park over in Chatsworth on February 23rd, 2020. It was a beautiful park and always very nice people. We always learn a lot from each other. I wanted to thank Shelly for hosting this event. She did a fantastic job. We saw most of our sightings at the very beginning, but then after 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, it started to taper off. I would say altogether we saw about 10 or 12, but there was a cluster that we ended up seeing in the very, very beginning. And that's something I wanted to show you today. I would say it was about 11.30 when we ended up seeing this red balloon heading north. It was another one that just kind of came out of nowhere. The cumulus clouds seemed to be heading east, but this balloon was heading north and didn't start that far away from us. But as it made it its way up, uh, it turned out to be a leader, which means that it drew our attention. When you make a call for UFOs and you see something weird, videotape it. Like I said, if this is a leader, you may end up capturing some UFOs and this is exactly what this one did. You know, it's not easy catching these things. I just want to warn people that there's a few crosswords I put in there. This one's not for little kids. It's very important that I capture these things. It's very important that I prove these things to you. So capturing these things are paramount. I don't like telling stories of UFOs. Got You've got to have proof. I was trying to focus on this one orb, but other people saw them moving in like triangular uh, positions. It was really exciting. Where is it? I lost it. Um, no, it's oh, down no, at the top, the top of, of that no, branch, and then the two branch. above it, and then two above to the what? right. What? Yeah. Oh, right. oh shit. And then the balloom in the uh, the red one. They said balloon. Oh, I can't yeah. get it on my camera, but yeah. I sure would like to oh see if they look like. Oh my god, it's moving. Yeah, it's, it's moving. It's moving up. Yeah. It's moving up. It's moving fast. Yeah. Oh, there's a bunch of them, you guys. Holy yeah. crap! They're in, they're in parallel. There's two at the top. There, Where are they? Huh? There's one the right, right there. There's it, one. Oh there's my gosh, it's moving that. fast. And then there's more above oh. that. Oh my god. Okay, Come on, Hans, let me get it, happening. please. Okay, yep, yep. Let yep. me get it. It's Someone. Happening. Whoa, whoa. They're, they're that one's. Together. They're, yes. not, they're not going further apart. Oh my they're gosh. Equally please, together. Show, yes, show me. Yes, 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 show me. Okay. Gosh darn it. Where are they? Where Dang are they? it. Two, three. It's like a triangle right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Triangle. Oh, I see it. Oh, look how two the closer <laughs> together. Hans, come here. Hans, Holy crap. I think it's one and three. Wow. Yeah, but there's two and three. Oh, yeah, it's one and three. Whoa, it's moving the opposite direction from that oh balloon. Oh, this one, they're moving perfect together. It's moving, it's moving opposite of hey, the way nice. the balloon's going. <laughs> Yoo hoo. Shelly ended up capturing the best footage, if you ask me. It's very exciting catching UFOs, but I'll tell you, it's not easy. But if you think about it, there's a lot of things that have to go right in order for you to capture these things. You got to have a cool, calm hand and you got to have the right equipment. These will give you your best chance at catching UFOs. Great job, Shelly. Like I said, there was about 12 objects seen this day and with multiple eyewitnesses, but I was only able to capture two of them. So here's the other one. This one I was able to capture on my telescope. It was probably about a mile, mile and a half away. This one was interesting because it seemed like it kind of changed shapes. Also, it was a like a multi-colored uh, object. As you can see, it does rotate, but as it rotates, it actually closes up like some sort of a gap that's in the center of it, like some sort of a donut hole. The colors are fascinating, but you could see that the, uh, the circular sides are, are sometimes bigger than others. And at other points, it seems like this thing almost bends in half and creates some sort of an L-shaped object. And then it straightens up again and then reveals the gaping hole in the donut. It's just very strange looking. It's almost like it's telling us that this is not what it seems to be. Mostly because it doesn't make sense. Anyway, fascinating piece of footage. I've been on the internet looking for this object uh, at the big stores and the small stores, and I can't find it anywhere. This brings up another good point. What are the chances of you seeing a balloon that's not sold in all the major stores? If you can't find it in any of the stores, you probably have to order it online, which probably means that it had to come from a different country. So you just happen to be in the right place at the right time for you to be able to see this accidentally released balloon up in the sky, and obviously one that changes shapes right in front of you. 
This is not a coincidence. We called and this thing came to our location. Before you go, give me a like and please subscribe to this channel. Also, I'd like you to subscribe to Shelly's channel in the listing below. Well, if you're not a member of LA UFO channel, please go to meetup.com and subscribe and you'll be notified when we have our next UFO sighting event. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.